My name is Richard Cheekwee. I'm a former cricketer. I played for Ramwick Petersham and New South Wales. Just behind me, those nets, that's where it first started. A man by the name of Tom Regan, who's good friends of our family and good friends of my dad. And um, he saw something in me when I was pretty young. And he used to take me down to these nets. And that's where I, that's where I learnt the art of trying to play cricket. Marston College was a really proud sporting school, not just with rugby league, but cricket and all sports. It was more, more than just playing sport, it was actually assimilating into society because we were the only Asian kids in our school, let alone our class. So getting the opportunity to play cricket was our way of trying to fit into society. So playing street cricket, playing backyard cricket, and then playing cricket for the school was, was pretty cool. See, my brother played under 10s, and when he was playing under 10s, I was watching. So one day he said, um, you're getting a bit too big for your boots in the backyard, it's time for you to come down to grade cricket, and I was 14. I thought I was going to be playing in the, uh, batting in the fifth grade net, and uh, looking at the fifth grade net, it was on synthetics, but they put me straight into the first grade net and said, that's where you're going to have your first hit, and you had to grow up really quick. Had a bowler and he was bowling at me and he was giving it to me this day and uh, I couldn't understand why he was sledging me so much because he was bowling left arm orthodox. And um, anyway, he was telling me that I was overweight and a bit of a sumo and so I thought I'd have a crack at him and I got onto this one. It was down breeze as well and, and the ball ended up at Macca's and I said to him, uh, so while you're there, grab me a quarter pound of meal and make sure it's upsized please because I'm getting pretty hungry. <laughs> I remember being over in England playing cricket, league cricket, um, you know, when uh, my, uh, my mum sent me over a news clipping saying, you've just been picked into the New South Wales squad. And having a look at the names in that squad, I mean, you know, I played in that era where we had, you know, Taylor, Slater, the two wars and Michael Bevan. So they was the first five in the New South Wales cricket team. So we we're all, the rest of the state was all battling for that number six spot. So it was a really tough, really tough gig. You know, we were the Baby Blues playing um, against an amazing team in, in WA. You know, all their bowlers were six foot six. You know, it was really, it was really tough, but so we had nothing to lose because, you know, we were going in there as the underdogs and, and all of a sudden we, you know, put on a pretty amazing partnership with Michael Bevan. He made me run most of them. So that was pretty cool, getting the man of the match and, and winning that, but we also you know, went on to do the double as well, so that was pretty cool. The reason I got into cricket was really because of the West Indies. So to get the opportunity to play against them was, was emotional, it was amazing, it was, I was honoured to play them. So it meant so much more to me than just a, a first class game of cricket. And after being dropped for New South Wales and, and getting back into the team, Playing against the West Indies, it, it meant so much. Yeah, I'll never forget it. So to get 100 against those guys yeah, meant a lot more to me than I think most people. To finish my career at Ramwick Petersham, and then uh, in 2005, you know, when we merged in 2000, 2001, those five years, I feel like I, I finished my career a better player. It took me a long while to mature and, you know, to, to, to find out really what you know, makes me tick as a batsman and as a player and as a person. So to be given that opportunity to, to finish my career at Ramwick Petersham was, was pretty cool. But then my brother was playing for South Sydney in the Shires competition and we decided to have one year together because we wanted to finish together. Having started in the backyard and then finishing together, was, it meant so much to me. Shane Lee and Brad McNamara were over in England one year and I was there at the same time. We weren't far from each other. And you know, they were learning to play a bit of guitar. And Gavin said, you know, let's let's hit the studios and uh, let's have a bit of a jam. That's sort of how it started. And all of a sudden we next thing you know we're we're doing this album launch and it just snowballed from there. Since 2009, I mean, I've, I've been working for a company called Quest Carpets and uh, learning a lot about flooring, um, something that I've taken for granted for so long, I now have an appreciation for. 
I've got two beautiful kids and a beautiful wife. It's very, very busy. My daughter Zinnia, she's five. My son Billy, he's two. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a full-time gig being a parent, let me tell you. Being the first um, person of Asian culture to play first-class cricket in New South Wales, uh, in Australia, is, is, is something I'm very, very proud of. And during my cricket days, um, the New South Wales Cricket Association used me as an opportunity to go to a lot of schools, and particularly a lot of the schools that you know, had a lot of non-English speaking background kids. I didn't really see the novelty in it because I consider myself Australian, very, um, very proud to be. But to see more, more and more kids now playing sport from different cultures is, is, is very, very, um, very, very important and makes me really proud. Yeah.